Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Special request. I'll dedicate this one to the twins over at the Penguin Beer Company. You know who you are. Cheers. Mmm. Yummy. Teeling. Small batch. No, no, no. Single ball. My, my mistake. Really, really nice. Now, I've got a collection of little bits and pieces that I thought I'd do a little bit of a demo making up a hanging basket. But before we get started, there's a few things to look out for. If they're not happy, ask yourself why. It's more likely one of these. Either overwatering, just provide really good drainage. Underwatering, let these little little beads dry out. If they wrinkle a little bit, don't stress. But stick your finger in them up. Oh, oh, oh more, 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 more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. These are going to go into the new pot. No, 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 no. They fall off. We'll put those in there as well. Yeah. Sunburn. If you provide, I've got shade cloth. Provide a little bit of indirect light. Gauze curtains. Little old ladies love those things. Well, so do these. Strong winds, cold drafts, so forth. Give them a bit of shelter. And they will be happy. All right, let's get that out of the way. Let's get these things going. Ready to go. And I thought I'd add a few other things to, uh, to this basket. This is a local, local mix called Kelpo Mix, and uh, let's try and get that out of the way so I don't cover it with soil, with potting mix. That'll do. Yeah, and it drains really well. So, uh, I get it by the ute load, cubic meter at, at a time. Cost me less than $100 for a cubic meter, and I guarantee buying it by the bag is going to be a lot more expensive. So I have lots of it. And all the other stuff from plants that die, plants that have to be repotted, they all go into a bag and they become, re you know, all that gets recycled. And uh, let's see, let's try not to drop potting mix into my whiskey. That's good whiskey. Wouldn't want to do that. No, 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 no. We don't want to spoil a good whiskey. Teeling, nice Irish whiskey. So is Jamison. Okay, nearly there. I'll leave it with that for a minute. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now, under here, hiding were bits that I ended up cutting off that one. And have a look here. These have been in this tray since, uh, what was it, June, July? Yeah, July. And they have mostly taken, oh, this one didn't. You see, you got a few that go mushy, Blah. Blah. but quite a few of the other ones have done very well. So I'm going to put this uh, sedum in the middle. So I have to dig out a little bit of a hollow. I bought this for ten cents over at the uh, the tip shop, and. Uh, I thought, that'll be fine. Now, did I have a tray? Oh, let's get a tray over here, because I'm going to make a mess. And I've just cleaned up the floor. I had the electrician in yesterday. And now I have 
couple floral lights. I've got a couple PowerPoints and even an all weather PowerPoint in the warm room to run my, uh, run my heaters. Now this one obviously dried out, but being a succulent, they don't mind so much. They're not that fussy. Now I might just see if I can separate that into a couple pieces. Yeah, that's all right. Save the smaller one, put the bigger one in the in this basket. Ta-da! Yep. Here we go. Tuck it in. And uh, let's see. Now this one. This is a variegated one, so I'm going to tuck that on one side. Just give it a bit of a hollow. Right up there. Tuck it in. All right. That's two. Sedum Voodoo. Ho, 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 ho. And a chain of hearts with a couple of bits of jasper to hold the, uh, the root system down in place. And it's coming along quite nicely. A little bit of new growth there. Keep the label. Let's see what we've got. This is potted up in uh, coir peat, which holds us moisture longer Ah, look at that. We've got a little bulbul. Sort of, not really rhizome. Okay, let's put that one over here. Pop the, those up over the side. And I'm going to be then backfilling. Okay, that's good. Number two, what else do we have hiding over here? Another little chain of hearts. Now, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to leave that one. And I'm going to go for this one. That, uh, that I've been propagating from. Bamboo meat skewer to lift them out. Now let's see what we've got. And these were just laid on the surface of this kelpo mix. I've got a root system in here. Doesn't want to come loose. Whoa! Good stuff. I'm gonna to have to dig out a lot more. I don't know how extensive the root system is, but it's not letting go. Not yet. Let's see how much of this is going to uh, come loose. Okay, here's one. <laughs> now I'm just going to lay it on the surface and then lightly cover it with uh, a bit more of the uh, kelpa mix, not to the point of smothering it. So, uh, try and keep it free of the chain and the sedum and all the other stuff that's in the way. Whoa. You like that? Left over from uh, Halloween fancy dress. Good bit of fun. All right. Here's another chain of hearts. How extensive. Oh, nice. Not as extensive as the other one. Let's put that one over here. Lay the root system down on the on the top of the potting mix and then I'll cover it. What else we've got? Well, I've already dislodged this one, so I might as well take this one out. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice little system. Have a closer look. And remember, this has only been in there since since July, laying on the mix, winter in Tasmania, 
which is not the best time for striking cuttings or anything else, but it's fine. So, lay that one along the surface, drape a few of the uh, bits over the edge, and uh, now I'm going to start backfilling. Uh-oh, I've got a floaty in my whiskey. Oh, well. I don't think it will kill me. Well, we don't know that, do we? All right. Now I've got everything else in the way. <laughs> Where did I put my whiskey? Safely. These are all rocks that I've been collecting for my uh, my table mounts. All right. Where's my cup? There we are. All right. Now even the sedum. I don't mind if there's a little bit over the stems. I'm going to try and keep the tips free of the potting mix, but I'd like to have at least some of the stem covered over whenever possible. This one's gonna get hung back over by my <clears throat> workstation because it seems to be really happy there. And if you have a place and the plant seems to be happy, don't mess with it. Now, if it's not happy and if it's curling up its toes, then try and figure out what's gone wrong. Whoop, that's a bit of a chunk. All right, now I think, I think this is gonna be enough. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, fine pine bark. shove these things in. Let's see, where's a good spot? Now, if they, if they strike, fine. If they don't, yeah, well, we did try, didn't we? Yeah, a couple, three over here. Well, that's good. Japanese ikibas, you know, putting it together in threes. What do we got here? Five pine bark. Come on. Up, up, up. Okay. Not too much. And uh, give it a bit of a wiggle. Now, as the, uh, as the plants grow, I can always toughen up a little bit, a little bit more. Now, I don't think I'll do any more. Keep tips sticking up. Where's that bamboo meat skewer going? Ha, 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 ha. What have I done? Aha! So I'm just going to go around and tweak some of these. And uh, if it all goes well, they will be looking as good as that in another year. We don't know, but worth a try. After the twins went and talked to me uh, yesterday about uh, these uh, chain of pearls, because she had one and it was struggling, I thought, right, I'll have a read. Well, three o'clock.
o'clock in the morning, I can't get to sleep. So what do I do? Turn on my phone and have a little little search on the on the net and see what some other sources recommend. And yep, pretty much spot on. We're all in agreement, which is nice. Disagreements? Yeah, well, gotta figure out why. Okay, that's it. I'll give it a bit of a water. It will drain easily. This coconut fiber mat basket cost me not quite $20 Australian. That one cost me about $9. I've got another piece I'll put into another pot. These are taken as cuttings. The variegated one, I think, cost me about $5 Australian. So, yeah, not too bad. This one, happy as Larry. This one, we'll see. All right, that's it. Wayne's Weird World. Whiskey, aha. Cheers. See you next time. Chain of pearls. See ya.